AI tool to help you walk and also give you restriction to get a better workout in. Does it feel heavier? Yeah, Don't go. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm not even using my legs. It's doing it for me. It's really doing it for me. So today we're gonna do a, uh, I guess a product review and really kind of test. I'm, uh, I'm at my gym, uh, which is in the building that I live in. However, this video is gonna take place in a couple different locations. But what is this? What, do we, what am I even carrying around? And really does it have anything to do with my channel? So here's the thing. I get a lot of sponsorship requests, right? And like a lot of people that do content creation, we have to pick and choose and say yes and no to certain people. For the most part, I like to say yes to the ones that not only I think are gonna benefit you guys, but are also gonna benefit me, obviously. So it's kind of like we have to pick and choose what we think is gonna work best. And then, every now and again, something comes across the table that is like, okay, that's just really cool, and I wanna see like how real it is. <laughs> the best way for me to describe this is it is a AI tool to help you walk and also give you restriction to get a better workout in. Now I'm gonna butcher the names, I don't wanna say it. Is it, uh, it's D-N-S-Y-S. All right, so one reason why I find it like super fascinating is I, you know, I watched some videos on this and I, you know, read up a little bit on it and pretty much what it does is it really just helps your, it, it doesn't like help you to walk. It just kind of takes the stress off your hips and your knees. And I actually did test it. I actually did try to walk around in it. I haven't ran it yet. So we're going to maybe try that on the treadmill right now. Um, we're gonna, you, you know, it's supposed to help you with hiking. It decreases your heart rate, more mobility in regards to like hiking and, you know, walking around at a festival. You know, as I'm taking it out, obviously it comes with this really hard shell case. And then it even has like storage for batteries and everything else in there. I do go to, you know, expos and events quite often. Having something like this, you know, might be a little funky at first to kind of like see somebody walking around in it. But honestly, I don't really care because if it saves energy and it, it can conserve my energy, help me mobility wise, then why would I not try and do this? Okay, so once you have it all kind of hooked up, turned on, you actually connect it to the app, start screen recording for you guys. And you can see here on the app that it's counting my steps. Um, right now it just says it's ready. It says uh, in the top right there, I has my battery percent, Denzies, whatever the name of this is, the X1, the carbon one. Track my speed, it's all in meters per second. These are all the modes right here. So that's eco, sport, boost. <laughs> when I was testing this earlier, the boost is interesting. So let's get the, the camera up a little higher. Yes, this is my gym and my building. It's insane. Looks like I have a pretty decent walkway here. So sport mode, I would assume if I was maybe like running and not for exercise, <laughs> if I was trying to be more efficient, I'd put it in sport, I think. Cause sport mode like really like, kind of like helps, helps me, it like helps me a lot. It's like literally picking up my legs as I'm walking. It's so weird. It is so weird. Like I feel like I'm walking on a cloud right now. I'm not, I'm, it's, I'm not using a lot of energy as I'm doing this. Maybe I'll turn the camera over here just to, uh, just to turn it onto a treadmill real quick. Now I'm a big guy. I'm roughly 200, 205. I've been on my weight loss challenge here to myself for a little while now, so I feel good. That's two miles an hour. And like I said, I'm in sport mode right now. Heart rate is, is pretty low. It's on this contraption right now. It's reading 89, 86. 
80, so 90, 91. We're picking up a little bit now that I'm, now it's back down to 90, 89. So it's hovering right around 90. Bump this bad boy up to five miles an hour. Now here's the thing. Oh, I'm not the best at running. Wow, that actually feels good. That feels good. I'm a big guy. I'm running no problem. Okay. Now, sorry for the mic. You guys are probably hearing it. Bumpity, bumpity, bump. Apologies. I'm not gonna run for too long, but normally I'd probably only be able to run at five, five miles an hour, probably about five minutes until I'm like, I need to stop. But running the treadmill is tough for me. Let's just stop that right there. My knees are pretty shot from the different sports that I did when I actually was a collegiate athlete. There is a mode on here that says boost. I'm scared of it. <laughs> it's like not even, I'm not even using my legs. It's doing it for me. It's really doing it for me. I think boost would be used for like, if I'm out hiking or something and I just really need that extra boost. This is really interesting. Obviously boost is like the most help than sport, then Eco's kind of just kind of like walking around, obviously conserves energy and battery. Transparent is pretty much off. And it, you can actually, when you hit transparent, you can actually feel it kind of like release. However, you can go the other way. Somebody like myself that's trying to get in shape, you know how like some people use like ankle weights, right? That it's, it's like as restriction. So going the other way, going aqua mode, is it aqua? A-Q-U-A, the aqua mode, it actually adds resistance. So now I am, I feel like, I feel like there's resist, there's resist, literally there's resistance, but it feels like there's a weight that I'm like, I almost feel like I'm dragging a sled. And then they have aqua plus. Uh, you can feel the resistance. I can't imagine what it would be like. You could try it on the Stairmaster. You know, at times when like, you know, you're just out on a hike and your legs are just about to give way. Well, well, that's what this is for. This is to help that. It's, it's to help your, your, you know, old men like me. <laughs> All right, let's take it out. Uh, like I said, for the weekend at the expo. Dude, he's product testing. <laughs> Yes. He's product so testing everybody. Why is he even doing anything? Well, I'm walking normally. I'm just happy to be on my legs. I'm like, wow. Wow, look at you. Dude. This is what it's not like, right? you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in dance mode. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not how it works. It's, <laughs> I need somebody else to, to put this on so you guys can feel what I'm feeling. No, do something funny. If there's like, nothing you do, you <laughs> walk <laughs> without you walk. Like a <laughs> how is this actually happening? It's all, I don't know, it's through a motor right here. And yeah, but like... Battery. <laughs> when it dies, are you just stuck? Like the no, battery dies? No, you can still, like, I'll turn it off. <laughs> Frozen. It's now off. Well, yeah, well. yeah, don't Come be on still in, in don't the back. Come on, let's go. Yeah, back. go do a sprint down the hallway. She's sitting right now, she doesn't want to get up. I'm strong, dude. I'm a strong boy. More resistance. Can I break this if I stretch too hard? You know, I do feel it. It feels pretty cool. We have to test it, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> you look like flat. How fast did I look? So fast. I'm really fast. Parker, that was so, you were so fast. Yeah. Kind of threw me off balance. Parker, you were like the speed of light, you were so fast. Yeah. That's normal. <laughs> It loses connection. Does it still go? Or does it just turn off? It lost connection. Whoa, Parker's going again. Don't go too far from me. Oh, we got, we got his distance. Skipping, skipping mode. I feel like I want to do some parkour. Can I make you do a really high kick? Whoa! I've never kicked that high before. I might have just hurt myself. Does it feel heavier? Don't go. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It does. Wait, why don't you try and sprint again? We want to see how fast you can be in heavy That's, mode. You're putting a, I have a lot of resistance on, dude. Don't. Not just, too far. Not too far. 
Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, there he goes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I also wanted to check out the Dinsons exoskeleton in real world out on a hike, which is exactly what I personally would use this for. It would help me go up and down hillsides over rough terrain. And what's really awesome is it has an AI auto adjust. The motors on the side that I showed earlier, they have built in AI auto adjust to the terrain that you are on. Somebody mentioned earlier, what happens if the battery dies? Well, guess what? It would just be normal and it, you wouldn't feel zero resist. However, if you needed to, the battery exchange is simple. All you need to do is carry an extra battery and you'll be able to go out even further. All right, guys, we're just wrapping up the video on this Dinsons Exoskeleton. I uh, was very excited to uh, check it out, try it out. And if you want to also use it yourself for any of your hiking needs. I'm going to be using it probably expos over the next several years. Uh, definitely helping my dog walk, um, but you can pick yours up by clicking that link below and you can get yours today. Uh, shout out to Dinsons, obviously, for sponsoring the video. Shout out to Parker from Sandy Vance for helping out as well and Salone for actually recording some of that. Yeah, we will see you guys next time. Click that link below and get your exoskeleton to definitely take all the stress off of your joints as well as reducing heart rate. Also helping you to work out if you want to go the other way on it. So see you guys soon.